Supervision is about assessment. It's about promoting good risk management practices. And where we don't see things that make sense, that we intervene and we take action early to correct those. Hello, I'm Jean Yang, Managing Director at the Bank of Canada's Financial Stability Department. Today, I'm in conversation with Ben Gali, Deputy Superintendent at OSFI. Hello, Ben. Hi, Jane. Welcome to uh, joining me for the conversation today. Uh, Thank you. On supervision of financial system in Canada. Let's start with basic. What is a supervision and why it's important? So thanks for joining me today, Jing. And I would say OSFI's role is about the safety and soundness of the institutions it oversees. And uh, the safety and soundness of institutions depend on setting clear expectations, that's called regulation, and then monitoring how well institutions do against those expectations, and that's called supervision. So supervision is about assessment. It's about uh, promoting good risk management practices. And where we don't see things that make sense or potentially uh, may be problematic, that we intervene and we take action early to correct those. Is there any simpler way you can explain supervision for someone who is not so close to OSFI? So probably the best analogy for that would be uh, we could use a sports analogy, uh, like a soccer match or a tennis match. Uh, the, the rules of the game are set and uh, the referee, and in this case this would be OSFI, mm -hmm. would be overseeing how the players are performing, um, correcting actions that are not consistent with the rules of the game, and hopefully ensuring that the crowd, in this case depositors and creditors and uh, policy holders, but the crowd, the people that are observing the game, are able to do so in a way that they can enjoy the game and feel comfortable about what's going on. I like your football analogy. Next time I try that. Next question is, uh, could you explain to us a little bit about the supervision priorities OSFI have for this coming year? Our priorities are a re reflection of the outlook we have for risks. And uh, obviously there are a number of uncertainties and challenges out there. And as supervisors, we have to consider how those may or may not affect the financial institutions we supervise. Ultimately, um, with conditions as challenging as they are, we need to really be focused on the financial resiliency of the institutions that we look after. And in our mind, that comprises what we call the four Cs, uh, making sure that they have cash, capital, credit quality, and contingency uh, planning uh, as we look forward. And if I can just expand on each briefly, uh, cash speaks to uh, the ability to pay obligations as they come due. Mm -hmm. uh, capital speaks to the ability of uh, an institution to absorb uh, unexpected events, unexpected losses, particularly in a stress event. Uh, credit speaks to uh, the credit risks that can arise from lending to borrowers or uh, transacting with counterparties. Mm -hmm. And then finally, contingency planning is, well, how are your operations orientated for situations that may disrupt you? Uh, how well do your people, your processes and technologies operate and are that alongside uh, the financial contingency plans that you have for cash and capital as well. So the four C's, I think, are very important for our priorities going forward, and the work that our supervisors are concentrating on will be based around those priority areas. I quite like this uh, four C. Uh, it's a very nice way to summarize, and it's easy to remember. Would you like to elaborate a little bit more about the capital and why capital is important for four fees? So capital adequacy and capital are a um, true uh, indicator, a key indicator for us around the financial condition of an institution or an organization. So uh, it, again, it's an ability, it's a, an amount of reserves that, that an organization has 
to absorb those surprises that can come from losses due to credit risks, market risks, uh, anything that can potentially challenge uh, the balance sheet of the organization. So we spend a lot of attention and care to what we call the capital strength, the capital adequacy of firms. We have a number of rules around that. And um, a lot of our actions that we take, what we call interventions, are based on how strong those measures of capital are. Yeah, just to plug in, I, I totally agree with this. Uh, in the under B, uh, BCBS, in the Basel III Evaluation Task Force that I chaired, uh, we really found the, the capital absorption capacity, loss absorption capacity, played the, such a huge role in the strengthening of the whole financial system. So you talk about a 4C as your uh, four major priorities. If you were given a chance to choose another additional uh, priorities, what would that be? So I would say that the fifth C, if you will, would be culture. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the observations we have as supervisors is typically culture is a root cause of risk management failings mm -hmm. uh, and also successes. Uh, how behaviors occur without rules, without supervisors examining and observing, managers examining and observing as well, how behaviors occur around risk-taking and decision-making will have a very significant influence on the financial outcomes of an institution. So uh, for me, the, the other priority, if I got to add to the list, uh, would very much be culture. Excellent. You got the bonus point. You, I was wondering whether you can find a word with a C, start with C. Uh, that's great. Is there anything else that is important for OSFI that I have not asked, but you quite like to share with us? So probably, I mean, there are a range of uh, broader risks that are sort of environmental in nature that we're tackling. Uh, and I would point to OSFI's annual risk outlook or ARROW. And they set aside uh, or identify a number of particular uh, risk classes that we're doing work on, uh, such as climate risk is a, a good example. So I would point you to the arrow for context. The annual risk outlook is a, a publication that comes out twice a year, one in the spring and one in the autumn. And as well, I think as part of OSFI's transformation and the superintendent launched a blueprint for transformation last year, we're undertaking a renewal of supervision. Mm -hmm. And renewal in, in our mind means making sure our approaches, tools, and technology uh, continue to be uh, up to date. And uh, our framework for evaluating risks in our institutions um, is going to be reviewed and updated next year and launched. And the way we interact with our institutions, I think, will evolve to reflect that. We will be giving even more um, visibility to financial resiliency as well as operational resiliency, and also an even greater focus on corporate governance and risk management, and providing more visibility to the institutions we oversee about our opinions and assessments. And we think that will promote a richer dialogue with the institutions we oversee and ensure that we continue to deliver on OSFI's mandate of promoting safety and soundness. Thank you very much. 